So today we are going to be going over the Liar's Handshake Exotic for the Hunter. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so getting into this first, I do want to say you guys see the color change. So we went from green to red. I'm feeling red a little bit more. So we're switching the color scheme to red, you know? So we're done with the green, switching to the red. It's also my favorite color. So why not add that to the brand, right? So, but getting into what we were talking about the video, like I said, it's going to be this here exotic, all right? So I want to start off by reading it and then I want to kind of explain it if you don't 100% understand what it means so using your arc melee ability or being hit by a melee attack will allow you to follow up with an extremely powerful melee counter punch that will heal you keep that last part in mind that is huge now what i'm going to do is we're going to hop over to uh destiny item manager because it actually has like community things on there from like things that the community have figured out about it and we're going to use that to kind of help explain it a little bit more okay so it gives you like this whole super breakdown right um so here's what we have so it works for the arc strider class only so arc arc only right makes sense uh so receiving or dealing melee damage grants cross counter for three seconds or until melee hit cross counter grants a 200 percent increased melee damage and heals for x hp on melee hit so what that means is damage that you output with cross counter you heal for that amount of damage okay so if you output like let's say 90,000 damage then you're going to heal for 90,000 hp that is how that is working okay uh one two punches bonus is reduced to 80 percent if cross counter is active so a little nerf a little nerf to uh one two punch there that i'm pretty sure bungie put that in <laughs> a little nerf to one two punch so you can't just like fucking ridiculously murder everything right but it's still very strong there are yellow bars that i use this on and i just i still one hit them so it's actually it's, it's actually insane like this this exotic does a lot of damage in pve not gonna lie um so yeah the whole part of this though is that the the whole healing aspect of it right and we don't know what arc 3.0 is gonna have in store we know absolutely nothing it's all speculation right but if there's things in there that are spicy with like give you something dealing with like healing which probably won't be because it's arc it has nothing to do with healing it's just gonna probably gonna be like a bunch of chain lightning around every fucking where probably more than likely but then we have all these mods and you can mod it up for healing arc all that all that juiciness right having these one i feel like these are going to be really good for hunters next season just because of how much damage they do uh it, it is pretty much a melee based build though that you'll be doing but depending on again the what we have as far as aspects and fragments for arc 3.0 will depend on how viable it is so just a little bit in depth so you kind of understand what the exotic does for people who might not know what it does know what it is or don't maybe don't even have it yet, right? Uh, but I would definitely, if you don't have it, definitely go do your Lost Sectors or Gauntlets when it is out. Definitely try to get them because they are going to be really good next season more than like. Okay, so I was going to just leave the video with like no gameplay of this thing whatsoever. But now it's like, what kind of person would I be if I didn't like actually show you guys and explain it while showing you? Okay, so we have our melee back. So we're going to go. We're going to do uh, Special melee, activate it. So now all that shit just popped up. So cross counter, combination blow, all that lovely shit just popped up, right? So if we do this, we just one hit every fucking thing. And we're doing, what was that, 13.7k on that hit. So the combination blow with this, that was 18k. So keep in mind, whenever cross counter is activated, and we're getting these melee hits, we are healing for that amount of damage as well. All right, so we kind of do a decent amount of damage and it stuns this motherfucker, which is a mini boss, and it pushes him back, which I think is the most hilarious thing, right? But every hit that we have with combination blow, again, we are healing, right? So we could probably just like whatever, like dude, fuck you, right? And heal, 100, 100, max health, just like that, right? Hit that guy. Let's take some damage. Blah 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 blah. blah. They don't like. Why don't they hit you when you want them to hit you, right? But pretty much, this is how this works. Okay, so it doesn't necessarily matter. We, we're just healing through all of this. We don't have anything extra on, right? We're just healing through everything, murdering everything. Like it doesn't matter, right? 
So that's pretty much how these things work. So and you can see I'm running max resilience, max discipline, pretty much because the subclass allows you to always have your dodge and always have your melee. So mobility and strength is not that big of a deal here. Uh, so resilience discipline we go into so we can have our grenade and have that wonderful, wonderful damage reduction. But that is gonna be the end of the video. I just wanted to spread some light on this here exotic man. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button as well if you wanna see more content on the channel. And also let me know in the comment section below if you want to see more videos like this, kind of just break down different exotics or weapon or armor or whatever it might be uh, mainly for hunter because on this channel we use hunters only nothing else on this channel only hunter right so that's gonna be it man i hope you guys have a fantastic day and i will see you next time